listen to every conversation around me, everybody's saying, this is real, this is real. And then I see the news captions saying, uh, America under attack. And I see the Twin Towers on fire. I was like, America under attack? What? As soon as it turned on, that's, I mean, maybe five seconds afterwards, you watch the second plane hit. I just remember not really understanding the depth of what, what had happened. Cause I was young, you know, so I didn't really fully grasp. My name is Michael Desir. I joined the uh, Marines uh, September 13, 2001. My name is Juan Flores. I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran. I uh, served in Iraq twice. I was on a quick reaction force and uh, I manned a twin 50 cal machine gun. Physically, yeah, you're ready because they train you to get ready. But mentally, you're not ready because you've never been to war. You've never seen the war unless you've seen it on TV or you see it in movies. But then when you see it in reality, it's totally different. <laughs> totally different. No matter how good you are at your job, if it's your time to go, you're at the wrong place at the wrong time. There's no set of skills that can protect you from what's going to happen. I've been awake for two days, and uh, they were trying to make me stand another watch, which was 24 hours. And I'm like, there's no way I can do this. I can't. I can't mentally do this. After we came back from Iraq in 2003, I was holding a lot of like stuff that happened. And then, um, I don't know, it's just I got, I got tired. I got really tired of holding all that stuff. So, um, I just, I don't know, yeah, I just got tired of it and then I just tried to kill myself. You know, when you see your buddies go down, is that's the part that gets you. Once you're sleeping in your car and like, just, you feel like, li like life is just shit you out, you know? Kids were born, like, my first one was Isaiah, 2007. Part of me was like, okay, I gotta take care of my kids. I gotta be, you know, a good father. But another part of me was like, now I got something to live for. Staying in communication with your buddies, even after it, and, you know, we do reunions every year. Having that as a support system was probably the most beneficial. Last year at this time, I was probably one of my lowest points, and. It's just amazing like how that, that's turned around to this year. It's really hard to believe.